Hey everybody, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks and today I am joined with my Congo African Grey Cressy to talk to you about how to get your bird to eat healthy if you've tried some things in the past that haven't worked or you've heard a bunch of my tips and tricks and just never put them to use. This is just another reminder and maybe a different angle that you can take to get your bird there. Ah, you are tickling my ear. <laughs> um, so today I wanna to specifically focus on birdie bread. Now, birdie bread is awesome. This is one of my birdie bread blends. It is Bubba's blend, it's blueberry flavored, um, but it does contain all of my awesome pellets as the base of it. Now, I do have some from scratch recipes for birdie bread. If you are international and located outside of the USA, and I can't ship my bird products to you as far as food products are concerned. So I can ship my cookbook internationally or you can just do a download those have a lot of fun birdie bread recipes that you can use but today I'm going to be sharing a freebie with you link in the video description that you can get that talks about all the different variety of ways that you can use birdie bread to entice your bird to eat healthy now I wanted this to be appealing for us humans because a lot of us shop with our own likes or dislikes as the forefront of our mind <laughs> when we are shopping for our furry or feathered companions. And so when it comes to birdie bread, I know that my birdie bread specifically, because it's made with all organic ingredients, it's relatively greenish brown looking, it's not the prettiest thing. I wanted to prettify it so that it appealed to more people and more birds to make it more fun. And I actually had the goal in mind of making it look like traditional human desserts. Um, to a certain extent while still utilizing the bread in its awesomeness because it is incredibly healthy for your birds and uh, it's not super high in fat like the other birdie breads on the market. So, Chris, you just love you. Chris, 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 you love you. And you guys say that I don't do enough videos with Cressy, so I figured she'd be perfect for today even though you don't have your own birdie bread blend. So my birdie bread blends are after Jinx, my blue-throated macaw who loves blueberries as a treat, and then Comet, my Camelot macaw, and his flavor is turmeric and sweet potato because, oh my lord, he loves both. So keep in mind the main goal of birdie bread is to really get creative. Sometimes people are using birdie bread to convert their bird onto a healthier pellet by grinding up the old pellets, then using my birdie bread blend, or grinding up the new pellet and mixing them together. So it has not only a flavor that your bird recognizes, but then has the subtle tones of the new flavor that your bird's going to get accustomed to liking. Oh, you're right in my ear. I feel like she's going to tell me all the secrets. Um, the other thing that people use birdie bread for is to convert their bird to eating healthy foods such as fresh foods like vegetables or grains, what have you. So you can use it definitely for both. I like to do a combination of both. The latest that I used it for was with an African gray actually named Bean who had never eaten pellets before. And so um, I was using birdie bread exclusively to get him to accept a pellet food. Um, because what I recommend here at Bird Tricks is eating my seasonal feeding system in the morning for your bird's breakfast and then having a healthy organic pellet in the evening. <laughs> she totally got my earring. Ah! It's one of those that just like slides right out. There's no back to it. So I'm going to slide it out just in case that happens again. Um, Cause I don't want her to actually have it. Now what are you doing? Gosh, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I recommend as a baseline for parrots to eat um, on the daily. And then treats, of course, like treat foods are given for training and interactions. Now my birdie bread blend is customizable as far as you can add whatever you want to this birdie bread. The only thing that you wanna to try to maintain is the texture that goes into the oven before baking. Don't want it to come out too dry, don't want it to come out too wet or it'll never bake. Stuff like that that you do need to keep in mind. But you can add fresh food, you can add well, ideally you don't want to add other pellets to this, but if you're going to add other pellets, it should be a pellet that your bird is currently used to eating while still getting a flavor for my pellets, which are already in this mix. So you don't need to add more unless you want your bird to get used to seeing them in their whole form, then you can add them in whole. Um, you can also do a little sprinkling of things on top. 
The freebie that I go into in the video description is a lot of fun. I actually incorporated my daughter Capri into it and asked her what kind of things she wanted to make for our birds and then we taste tested them on all the birds to see who was into what and it was a lot of fun. Um, so I think if anything you guys are just going to enjoy browsing through this freebie and looking at all the pretty pictures and how into all these delicious desserts all the birds were. So every bird had a little bit different preference. We made really little cookies um, that were crunchy and uh, yeah, they just had like that crunchy drier texture. And then we also did muffins or cupcakes that seemed to have a lot more of that softer texture. So depending on what your bird likes, you can do a combination of both and incorporate your toppings or your fillings or things like that to be crunchy or soft, depending on what your bird likes. All right, so a lot of you are probably wondering, what do I use birdie bread for if my bird's already on a good diet? And if your bird's already on a good diet, you can just use this for variety's sake to change things up, to celebrate a hatch day, make a special birdie cake, things of that nature. So you can definitely change it up, add a little variety and a little, a little bit of fun to your bird's day. Um, that's what I would recommend. It can be a great snack food or a treat food that you can just make a little bit more lively. Now, if your bird is not on a healthy diet, birdie bread is a great way to transition over there. Sometimes it can take birds upwards of six months to do a healthy diet conversion. Other birds take to it like that. So you just kind of got to figure out what makes your bird tick and what they really, really like so that you can use that to your advantage in your diet conversion. I wanna make sure that you guys don't get the wrong impression about birdie bread. It's not a miracle worker. Some birds really, really like the texture of a bread um, because birds tend to be carb lovers. <laughs> so you are just the tickliest. Um, so they tend to really enjoy the texture of a loaf of bread, so to speak, or like a chunk of food that they can eat. While others may not be fond of the texture. The other thing is play with the size of uh, birdie bread that you give. Some birds love holding food in their feet and eating that way while others just prefer to stick their faces into a bowl and just go to town that way. So keep in mind what your bird's natural preferences are so that you can play into that and again use what they like to get them to branch out. All right so depending on your bird kind of depends on which route you take. If you want to try my birdie bread recipe straight off and just see if they will like it as is using one of these blends, you can definitely do that. If they like it, awesome. It's a super healthy diet transitional tool. You're on your way to pellets, super awesome. But if they don't like it, one of the things that I always recommend is incorporating the old diet into this. So you can simply powder up the pellets that your bird's used to getting. If it's on an all nut or all seed diet, you can incorporate those in. You can even use them as little toppings or push them into the bread itself so that the bird's digging it out and getting a taste for the birdie bread recipe at the same time. Um, but use the old diet as needed to get your bird onto the new diet. Now I always recommend when trying to get your bird to eat birdie bread of starting off strong. You want that first impression to be awesome and you want them to try it. So if that means that you need to spread a little almond butter on top, sprinkle a few crushed nuts, do what you gotta do, no judgment here, you're in it for the long haul. So if that's just a stepping stone to get the initial introduction to go well, don't feel guilty about doing something something like that. You know, we're here for the long-term nutrition of your bird. It's okay to have stepping stones that weren't so great. Um, but also this is just trying to get your bird onto a healthier diet. So even if you needed to do that for a few weeks, I wouldn't be opposed to that either. Just means that that's how your bird's getting its treats. <laughs> um, so make sure that initial introduction is just goes really, really well and incorporate foods that you know your bird's gonna be receptive to. Don't go 100% all veggies, really thick, um, whole pieces where your bird's gonna be like, heck no, I'm not touching that, that looks funky. Uh, we wanna make this as appetizing as possible and as easy of a, and fun of as an experience as we possibly can for your bird so that it's excited to try this new thing with you. Also, I always, um, encourage people to make their birds part of the process. So there are some raw eggs in this and things that your bird can't necessarily get into, but if they are part of the process of seeing you and being around the ingredients, even being around the pellet powder, like that's totally fine as far as, as, far as the birdie bread blend, the applesauce, things like that, 
involve them so that they're building their curiosity throughout and then just make sure that you serve it cooled down to room temperature so you're not serving anything too hot to your birds but having them as part of the process is really fun so uh, if you want to stack or cut your birdie bread in front of them or make shapes out of it let them be a part of that let them think they're not supposed to touch any of it and i'm sure that they'll get involved you sweet girl Keep in mind that you can mix things into the batter. In this freebie that I did, I mostly just used my birdie bread blends as is and did the fun stuff with the fillings and the layers and the toppings and things like that. So that's kind of where I had the most fun um, and where I would encourage a lot of people to get creative and play. But if you need to incorporate things into the actual batter, you definitely can do that too. For all around success, to have the most success at this and changing your bird to an optimal diet, I highly recommend getting my natural nutrition course where you get a digital download of my cookbook as well as both flavors of my birdie bread blend. So you get Bubba's blueberry blend and you get Comet's concoction, which is sweet potato and turmeric. And uh, you also get a four pound bag of pellets and some of our diet downloads. And this is huge. Wait for it. From today, October 26th through November 1st, 2020, I'm going to be offering my Parrot Natural Nutrition course for 20% off. Just simply check out with the code SUCCESS20 for your discount. Keep in mind, if you want to upgrade to the physical cookbooks for an additional price, please email my customer service team and they'll be happy to assist you. Info at birdtricks.com. So that's for you picky eaters. I really want to convert those parrots out there who are not on the best and ideal diets and I'm hoping this is incentive enough for you guys to take that leap of faith and just try it. So for 20% off, don't forget to use the discount code SUCCESS20 <laughs> at checkout when you get my natural nutrition course. I will leave a link in the video description so you guys can easily find it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Got to see some of Cressy, Ooh, who's also featured in the book. I hope that my freebie download gives you guys lots of ideas and inspiration for how you can use birdie bread in a variety of ways. We had so much fun making toppings, frostings, cake pops. We made our own version of an Oreo cookie, um, ice cream cones, you name it. We tried to make it. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Make sure you tag me at bird tricks on social media. If you guys end up doing anything super fun with your birdie bread blends. Thanks for watching. Chris Richard, Chris Richard. <laughs> What would your flavor be if you had your own birdie bread blend? What would your flavor be? I think it would be <sighs> Dave. <laughs> Blueberry. <laughs> what is that little budgie doing? She just dive bombed us a little bit. Huh, Blue? I think Blueberry just realized you're in the house. Just a special side note, if you guys are wondering where I got my cute little lefty Quaker pin, don't forget to go support Project Birds and rescue parrots over at Ronnie's for the Love of Birds Parrot Rescue by getting a pin, splurging and collecting them all. We have so many awesome pins that support our rescue birds and our Project Birds, so go check it out at hyperfinch.com.